Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Uh, like I said before, this is your host, Red Lantern Frank, and I'm happy to see y'all back if you're watching this video. Now, the reason that there's a number two in the thumbnail is because I've made this video before, but this was maybe a year or two ago. I'm not really quite sure how long ago it was, but I'm sure you can find out yourselves. And <clears throat> Amazon's always doing updates and changes into their apps, so that's what happened. That's why that video is kind of like outdated. But I'm here to go ahead and make another video to show you how it's um, updated, I guess. Um, let's just go ahead and just jump into it. Let's come over here. I'm going to go ahead and click on to... Oh, look at that. See, like I said, Amazon's always doing updates. Okay. Just do your updates. Don't be afraid of doing updates. I know plenty of people that are like, well, I didn't want to mess something up. My God, just... Just... Play with the damn damn thing. See, I'm going here. Now, I just want to click on these only for one reason to show you something. Every little app that you click onto is going to be running in the background. Okay? So, you need to shut them off. And it's very, very easy. Go to the background app. Okay? Now, if you don't see them... There's a refresh right there. Okay. Oh, that's right. YouTube wasn't still updating. Okay. All right. I'm just going to put skip. All right. Now we're going to go back to this. And later on, I'm going to show you how to download it. Okay. As you can see, there's YouTube. And there's the internet speed test app. Um, look, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and hide myself so that way you can. I can barely show you the complete screen here. Okay. Now up here are all of these. Okay. To the intro. To everything. So refresh. Obviously, it refreshes the app. Multiple uh, close multiples. You can do it that way too. I really don't like using that. System slash user, if you click this, it's going to show you everything that's running in the background, you know. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and play with that. If not, just go ahead and click it one more time, and it will send you right back. Same thing with this one. I don't like using that one either. I'm sure there's a re reason for it. I just haven't done it. But I'm, I'm going to try and make this video as short as possible. Close all apps. When you're, going to, you're going to close each one, one by one. Switch layout. You can switch your layout if you want to. You can make these smaller or not. Preferences. You can open up on boot. I don't. Um, package info. Of course, it's going to show you the package info. Intro. Okay. Intro is what you see when you first download this. You can open on boot. You can watch this little video on how to use it. But I go all the way down to the left-hand side where it says got it. And when I got it, it shows me this. Okay. We're going to go ahead and force stop. Clear the cache. Use your back button. As you can see, it went away. Force stop. Clear the cache. Back button. And there's nothing running. Very easy. Now, if you need to download yourself, just go to find. Click down. Push B, A, C. There it is. Click that. Right there, if we do it, it takes me right there, but it's usually going to give you a download button. So that's all there is today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Um, I'll see you soon. I'm making my next video.